Hey guys, Travis from Trap Day Plays, and today, for some reason, I kind of felt like analyzing the new cover art for Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Um, I just felt like that there was so much going on here that I needed to say something. So, first of all, for, uh, first off, Kyrie is the main focus of the cover. Um, it's funny that this our Kyrie-centric game. It doesn't appear as though you play as Kyrie. The story might revolve around here, her, but it doesn't appear as though we get to play as her. I don't know if I've missed anything from the trailers, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Now, let's start from the top left here, because this one is interesting. We're with Mickey and Riku, KH1 Riku and Mickey. Now, Mickey, he's not wearing his shirt. And he look, you know, he's wearing his little Mickey Mouse outfit. And I know all of these, or not all of them, but half of them are like from at least Kyrie's point of view. So I feel like the only time, the, I feel like they did that for a very specific reason. That there is when Mickey Mouse turned his head to say something about the uh, door of the lighter. I don't remember. And Riku. Uh, behind the door as well. Did Kyrie see that? It's it's odd. I don't know why they chose because they could have just picked Mickey and Riku, but they chose shirtless Mickey, which I feel indicates that the very end of Kingdom Hearts One. Um, I don't know what else it could be. Was she there? I mean, it doesn't really matter because it wasn't integral to the story, but it would have been. Uh, it's just annoying, and then. We go over here to bup, 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 Sora from KH1. This is when he's running up to Kyrie at the end of the game to say his heartfelt goodbye. Uh, sad. You can tell it's dark in the background, but not too dark. Um, just to accentuate him, her point of view. Oh, it's sad. Goodbye. Then we got uh, Duckle and Goober. So very, this I think is from Kingdom Hearts 2. I think this is just Donald and Goofy right next to Sora right here at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2 from her point of view. Uh, not too interesting. I think that's, I think that's where that came from is Kingdom Hearts 2. This one, I'm not sure if this is any, if this is just nominee or a specific point of view moment. Maybe when so they were together shortly uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, twice. Once uh, when they were running side by side, and at the very end of the game when she kind of took spirit form. So, I mean, that could have been that could be easily like, what? She's looking over at nominate to her left. It's not that, not too hard to think about. Sora right here, clearly, can I zoom in more? Ooh, I can zoom in more. I can't move it over though. This is clearly Sora smiling up at Kyrie at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, wait, look at the colors in the background of both of these images is the same. That, I think, means that this these were the same exact moments. Pretty sure. Um, I don't think this is any... I think this is just showing Sora, uh, Roxas, no, Roxas, Shion, and Lee, Axel, whoever you want to call him. Technically Axel, because he's got the little doot doot doot. So this is not a point of view, because I don't think, yeah, there, there's not any point where Kyrie saw the three of them together like this. And we, oops. Scroll down here. Now, I don't think there was any moment when Kyrie would have seen these three together like that. Maybe near the end of Kingdom Hearts 3? Um, when they took out Xehanort's armored form? Perhaps? Or it could just be a nice little portrait of the three of them since they're going to be part of the game. And then over here, probably the most recent, uh, when Kyrie and Sora were sitting on the Paupu tree. And this was just before the moment uh, Sora disappeared. There's his hand 
holding hers, I'm sure. And it's sad. Sora went away. That's a that's a good looking portrait of Sora though. I wish I could draw like that, damn. And then of course we got Kairi in this immaculate chair. It's a little different than Sora's. Very similar to Sora's. Maybe the color scheme is a little different. Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora chair. I spelled chair wrong. Oh, that's chart. We don't want chart. We want chair. Chair. Bop. Gibble. <sighs> very, very, very similar. Oh, God, this image sucks. Okay. No. Bad. 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 Okay. So. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's like the same chair. The heart. The coloring. Coloring. The coloring is a little different. Sora. Looking a little taller than her in the chair. He takes up a lot more room. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything here. I feel like we're seeing the chair at the same angle. I don't think it's too important. But I... It might be the same exact chair, just different lighting. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, and of course, she's sleeping. Now... If I remember correctly from Kingdom Hearts 3, they are looking through her dreams slash memories to find any clue to Sora because they're connected. So that's the purpose of her sleeping in the chair. Sort of symbolic of that, that literal story point. Um, and then we got this melody of memory using like a goldish yellowish hue similar to uh b what's it called coded kingdom hearts coded they're running out of colors <sighs> i don't know what other colors they could use okay so this one's very yellow and it's all at the tips and the letters inside are the same. They go just from light to light to dark. And over here, okay, it's dark from the outside, light in the inside. And it uses a darker tone. I think they're going for almost a goldish color as opposed to recoded's very bright yellow. <sighs> What's that? Clash of the Crown? I don't know. People making up their own things. They're funny. Let me know if you guys see anything else or notice anything else. I can't think of anything. There's like a there's a lot going on, but at the same time it's it I don't think there's any like too many hidden details. Um not a whole lot to analyze, or there could be a whole lot and I just can't see it. Uh let me know in the comments down below. I think that's gonna be it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'm super excited for this game all of a sudden. At first, <laughs> at first I was like, meh, and then, ooh, the hype is building up, ooh, this game's looking cool, and then that trailer just dropped, and we got this beautiful cover art. I am, I am all in, dude. Now, I just don't know if I'm going to get it for the Switch or the PS4. Okay, I think that's it. Peace.